pretty common for threads um, to get messed up to the point where you may only be able to get it in a turn or so and then it seizes up. There's probably some cross threading going on there or something. Um, so it's really easy to inspect the external threads and I think they look pretty good. So it's safe to assume that there's probably something wrong with the internal threads here. And so that's what we need to fix. And normally you can do that pretty easily with a, uh, a, t a tap um, of the correct thread. But if you don't have a tap, you can modify another bolt um, with the correct thread to fix it as well. I know that this is the correct thread because it threads in elsewhere um, on the same engine block. Um, and I know that they've kept all of these threads consistent. Um, and th this one is um, the same. Uh, so I to identify what that thread is, um, first I'm going to identify the hitch using uh, these thread gauges. And I know that the thread pitch lines up perfectly with a 1.25 millimeter. And then the diameter of the thread, um, the major diameter, is just under eight millimeters. Normally threads are undersized, so it's safe to assume that this is probably an eight millimeter thread. So this would be an M8 1.25, and that's exactly what this bolt is. Um, and this bolt matches into our other thread nicely. So we should be able to use this to correct the thread um, that's damaged. These ceramic discs um, work well on a Dremel for cutting slots in steel, and we're gonna use it to sort of make a tap out of our bolt. Here's the normal tap, and you can see these flutes that are ground into it are, um, they're, they're there for chip clearance, so that whenever the tap cuts, the chips have a place to go and they don't get um, caught or stuck in between the tap itself and the inside of the hole. So it's, it's a relief for the chips, and that's what we're gonna cut into this. It also provides a surface for the cutting edge. Um, so we'll start by making a few flutes. There's one flute, and it doesn't have to be very deep because we're not cutting the threads from scratch, we're just cleaning them up. So I'll rotate a little bit and cut another flute. I'm also going to add a taper onto the threads so that this leads into our um, inside hole a little bit straighter. So I'm going to chuck it up into our lathe. Um, you could also grind these on um, by hand, but I think it'll go faster here in the lathe. And that taper should help it self-align a little bit and uh, straighten it as we go in. And by the time it gets to these back threads, which are full and not cut taper down at all, um, then the tap should um, clean those threads up. I'm going to lubricate this uh, tap a little bit, um, make sure it glides in smoothly. Um, it's also very important to note the materials we're using here. We are tapping into aluminum, which is much softer than steel. If you're trying to tap into steel, you aren't gonna be able to use a uh, soft bolt, a soft steel bolt like this. So I'm gonna start in by hand, and if I start feeling too much resistance, um, that might be chip buildup, um, and I can back off a little bit to clear some of the chips out, and then keep going, um, and this should clean the tap up pretty well. I can feel it's going in pretty smoothly, but I need a little more torque, so I'm just gonna use this ratchet here. I'm still being cautious not to put too much torque on it. We don't wanna strip anything out here, um, but I can feel it's still going in pretty smoothly. Um, I can tell that it's definitely stopped. I don't wanna put any more torque on here. I might strip something out, so I'm going to go ahead and back out the tap and then try putting in a stud and see how it fits. Here's the tap. You can see there are some chips that we've created. Let me just remove material. And hopefully that's the material that needed to be removed for this to go in freely. 
And now I'll check the original stud. Um, still feels a little bit tight. There we go. Uh, now I can feel it loosen uh, quite a bit right there. Before, this bolt wasn't going in at all, and now we're getting it to go all the way in. If you don't have a tap for cleaning up your threads, uh, it's not too difficult to make your own. And while this might not be able to start threads and cut threads really efficiently, it's really good for cleaning up existing threads. As long as you're doing it in a softer material than your, your bolt uh, material. So in a pinch without a tap, this works great.